All right, the front of the body, the back of the body, but you just kind of want to start off with some sort of warming up stroke. So I'm going to start in the shoulders. A majority of chair massage is compression. like a gripping petrissage. And with every transition, keep your hands technique to keep it from sliding up yeah how do you do like because it, it's clothed without lotion like how do you avoid sort of like the bunching yeah you have to hold it and keep okay. it adjusting um doesn't matter the type of shirt i've yeah. just been doing this for so long that that's the only method that i see that gotcha. kind of works and it helps when you make shorter strokes like, if I'm trying to do stuff like this, yeah. it's going to just come up. Right. But if I'm working in a small, specific area, I'm only bringing in the size of his shirt right here. Gotcha. That makes sense. When it comes to chair, depending on the amount of time you have, you have to break up the body into sections. So I started with the tops of his shoulders, then I went to his head, then I went to his neck. And I'm at the top of his shoulders and I'm gonna work my way down his back. I'm doing a two part move here where I'm taking my thumb, I'm pulling out, I'm using the other side to pull away. And so where are you pulling with your thumb? Like, which muscles? I am on the traps, okay. uh, super spinatus, and a little bit of the top of rhomboid. Gotcha. That's where the elbow and forearm are kind of gotcha. pressing on. chairs it brings the person to your size because Oleg's like almost a, a foot taller than me but it doesn't feel that way when he's on a chair and I'm just kind of pushing his obliques together I'm pushing it up and I'm squeezing around the hip this is kind of going to some tension off the lower back So the slightly kind of like rounded stroke that you're doing with your knuckles? Yeah, so I would consider this to be friction. Okay. I'm going into a small spot and I'm just turning. Okay. 
Like the cross fiber the cross friction? Cross fiber, yeah, yep. okay. but circular. Right. So coming out of the side of the spine, compression, and pulling off. And those are like some of the erector muscles? That you're yes, okay. the erector's going all the way down. It's one yeah. of my favorite muscles, of muscle groups. Yeah, I need to learn those better. And you're just sort of compressing the scapula there? Mm-hmm. Um, I guess I would consider this to be a forearm petrosage. The squeezing is what allows for the pressure. It doesn't always have to be pushing. I'm just gonna... How does your arms feel? I don't even feel it. I don't know if that's just something that I'm used to, but it doesn't feel like rough or anything, and it doesn't feel like I'm missing oil. Some people try to use like lotion on the neck and shoulders and arms. I don't because there's nowhere to wash your hands. They'll give you like hand sanitizer and stuff, but that's never gonna work as good. And then depending on the person's clothing, you don't... You don't want to get lotion on it. Yeah. Especially because they're still outside. No one aren't anymore, so I guess it's okay for wrinkled clothes, but just not messy ones. So do you tend to use your knuckle a lot more on the back? Yeah. Like in a chair? I okay. never really use my knuckle on the table, but I do when I'm working on the chair. Because mm -hmm. I'm working with all that I have. Right. And because there's, this is kind of, his shirt's kind of like a sheet. There's something in between. Mm, so, so you're not going to, yeah. So it's rough. Yeah. And like you're doing a lot of like elongation and sort of stretching too, yeah? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to part the muscle. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it seems like with just the weight pattern of being in a chair, like you can use gravity a little bit more to like stretch out the back. And that's what I'm doing. Everything that I'm doing is just a, a nice leaning motion. Yeah. All of my pressure and all of my strength is coming from the way I'm moving my body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm just taking my thumbs mm -hmm. on the lower back. I'm kind of going from um, the thoracic spine to the lumbar spine. Mm -hmm. I'm using my thumbs, but the weight is coming from my hands. Well, my hands being pushed by my shoulders, it's all stacking on top of each other. So I'm doing this, my body leans, and I'm just allowing my hands to roll down. Mm -hmm. That's where all the weight's coming from. So it's not coming from the pressure of me gripping. My hands are just in the same position, sliding down. Mm Now this is more so a, a twisting compression because I'm skin to skin I don't have much room to glide so I'm compressing for a second letting go compressing letting go Yeah. 
<laughs> Never forget the arms. So you're doing compression on some of his flexors right now? Yes. Okay. And sort of like a squeeze? Huh? It's sort of like a squeeze? Yes. Okay. Wait, these are extensors. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's cool. You want to use the pad of the chair to support. I'm not cracking his knuckles on purpose. <laughs> Yeah, do we ever crack anything on purpose? No, but it happens a lot. If you put pressure on the mid back, sometimes it'll crack. Um, the fingers always crack when you do a slight twist. It's just like cracking your knuckles. Yeah. I just wanted to let it know it's not on purpose. Right. Because we're not okay. chiropractors. Yeah. Time massage though, they get taught to how to do it. Hmm. But they are, that's considered a different modality. Come up. Kind of finish where I started. Now this is the only time, I don't typically do it, but this is the only time I would ever use to pull me. Unless it's sports. <laughs> 